Oh man, let's have a look at this new Prusacore 1 3D printer. I was using an MK4 for a while, and as I heard that Prusa is making a new printer, I was all ears and wanted one. The MK4 was working so well, but what if I could upgrade the Core 1? So I tried to order, and then found out that a kit wasn't available yet. And a conversion kit wasn't available either. A conversion kit would only work from an MK4S to Core 1. Okay, I ordered a conversion from MK4 to MK4S for about $100, and I converted pretty good, even though it took longer than I liked. The conversion from MK4 to MK4S is what I'm talking about. Now listen to the new Core 1 I have here. My first print. I tell you all about it while it does the first print. Oh my god, I think I made a mistake. The MK4S was so much easier. But now I am here. I ripped the MK4S apart to get to the parts I could reuse you for the Core 1 kit. As I show some of my build images here while I talk, you can see how this is a complicated mess with so many steps, it is unbelievable. You know, if you have many steps in a production, you can make so many mistakes. Mistakes happen. If you want to avoid mistakes, you need to go slow and think about every move twice. Oh, that makes this build take forever. I started on Monday, and every day I worked several hours after work to get this done. My basement office slash dungeon was packed with cardboard boxes and tiny parts. Not easy to build in such a small space. Thank God I used the MK4S to print two little trays for all the screws. That tray is available on printables and it will save you by keeping the parts together when you take the MK4S apart and then later when you build the Core 1. Now that it is done, I get so many issues. Collision warning, rehoming issues, all kinds of wild things happen before a print starts. Once it starts printing, it seems to work fine. The design is wild. The belts are too long. The whole thing shakes like a bitch when printing. The space inside the enclosure is small. Some complain about the loud noise it makes, but I have to say, so far it is okay for me. I just have it sitting here on this wooden table because this heavy printer doesn't fit in my shelf anymore. But overall, right now I can say that I feel I shouldn't have converted. Maybe it gets better over time, but I am not excited anymore. Not in this moment. Look at those error messages. And what a ruckus this thing makes before the print. At this point, I would say I would be better off by getting a bamboo. But now I have what I have, and I have to deal with it. Let's hope you like this video, and I wish I had a better experience with this printer. Prusa was good. Now it changed. I expected better, no question. But it is what it is. See you in the next one. Have a great day, and I hope your printer works better. Last question answered. Would I do this again? Or would I get a Core 1 again? Clear answer is no, and I may go back and just order an MK4S kit for my prints. That's how it is.